me and Lee Mondo. Did a little bit of M6, just got up here quickly. And then uh, came over Cookstone Pass, had a bite to eat and a brew. Gonna head up over Winlatter now. Winlatter, then over Honister Pass. Honister Pass, should I say. And then probably Rhinos Pass, Herdnot Pass, Burkefell. That'll take us back towards South Lakes, and then we'll probably make our way home then. Um, so yeah, if you're up here, Jasper's Cafe. Nice coffee and a bit of a cake. You do a fantastic mint slice. A mint slice. Give them a like. However, you might need to remortgage your house. Hi guys, Lee here, Cathartic Rides. As Stu was saying then, come up to the Lake District to have a look around. Some footage of the Roman Fort up here and then hit most of the passes that are up here that are worth going over. Enjoy. So honest to pass, some of you have probably been, some of you might not have been. If you're thinking of travelling up from down south and having a weekend in the lakes, uh, this has got to be on your list. You can quite easily, within the day, do a full loop of the Lake District and take in all the passes. Cookstone Pass, Rhinos Pass, Herd Knot, Honest to Pass. You can do them all in a big loop, um, anti-clockwise or clockwise. So we've just pulled over because there's quite a lot of cars on this pass and there's a buzz coming down as well. So we've we've just thought we'd pull in and have a minute uh, but if you look up the road you can see the road leading away into the distance the camera never does it justice but up there plenty of sheep plenty of suicidal sheep as always there's always suicidal sheep always suicidal sheep lee actually got one in scotland last year 
and we had it on the GoPro footage, the sacrificial sheep. Yeah, there's a link on YouTube. Don't watch it if you're a bit queasy. That's all I'll say. You know what I mean? But uh, so you even get your little bus service up here. Here you go. If you're into your walking and your hiking, you can catch the buzz. The buzz to butter me here via Honister Pass. I'll stick to motorbike, I think. Where are you going, Lee? We put a wonder, don't fall. I know what you're like when you go near water with a camera. In Germany, the other year, near the Neuschwanstein Castle, we got a bit of food and stopped for our breakfast. And Lee thought he'd go for a walk with uh, his very expensive SLR camera. And he took a bit of a slip, shall we just say, uh, on some mouldy, um, a mouldy slip where, you know, where they put the boats in the water. Just heard an almighty splash. He's not a small lad, neither Lee, you know what I mean? So when, it, when he goes in, he goes in. So, that provided us with laughs and giggles for hours on the way home. Still, years, still laugh about it now. And some of the other stuff that makes us laugh, well, you just can't repeat it, really. It's not for public yeah. viewing. But uh, said it last week in Wales, how can it not blow you away? This is right on our doorstep, really. We're very lucky to live where we do. We've got Wales in one direction. We've got the lakes. This is an hour away, an hour and a half away. You know, I mean, just stunning, absolutely. So once we go over Honister, we're going to uh, we're going to drop down. It will swing back into Keswick, and then we'll head south again, and we'll pick up probably the Rhinos Pass over the Hard Knock Pass, and then Burkefell. That'll chuck us out then in South Lakes, and then that's kind of the loop finish then. So a good day. Right, Lee, I reckon we've got a clear run. Shall we do it? Come on, let's do it.
hard knot pass that was rhino's pass then we're at the bottom of the hard knot pass you can just see the road snaking away in the distance up there loads of people make a big deal about it really it's not that bad i mean if you're a confident bike rider it's just some herping bends first gear and just just watch what you're doing it's just it's just a road honestly you know you see camper vans going up it and stuff like that so um so we'll head over that now drop down the other side and then the last one is Burkefell. so uh yeah enjoy people That's it people, that is it, that's your open bends. There's Lee. And then all you've got is you've got obviously this downward slope switchbacks. Local lads probably done it loads of times, but again, if you're having a ride up from down south or something like that, or you're coming for a weekend away from Wales or whatever, again stick it on your list, get it done. It's a good ride. Plenty of stop-offs, plenty of cafes. Um, and that's your lot really, so there you go. So the, uh, down the western side now, I know a little bit of lovely friends here for you. If you're a novice, you know, baptism of fire.
Roman fort time. We're off up to the uh, the Roman fort now on the Hard Knock Pass. It's been coming up here about seven years and I never even knew it existed. It's green. Bit of a bog. So as you can see my uh, commentary got cut short there by uh, sinking in the mud um, so yeah this is the hard knot fort it was built under Hadrian's rule in the second century uh, there's a headquarters building a commandant's house a bathhouse a granary uh, if you want to come up and have a look at it uh, postcode for it ca 19 1th uh, it's well worth a look and hopefully you'll have your drone with you so you can get some decent footage we're gonna have to come back another day And that's it for this video folks thanks for watching please give us a like please subscribe and please ping that notification bell until next time bye